Warren Hellman started his life in sports on the Lowell High School swim team and then went on to the University of California Berkeley's water polo team. Always self-deprecating, he related to us a memorable story that didn't help his team. In my senior year at Cal, we were undefeated. We went down to play UCLA and USC the first weekend. My parents came down to see the game. We played UCLA on Friday afternoon. And in the first minute of play, I stole the ball from a UCLA forward and, and tossed it back to the goalie, except he was on the other side of the goal, so I scored for UCLA. So that was at that point, the score was one to nothing UCLA. That's probably enough. But, but that didn't stop his competitive nature. As in everything else, I think uh, we Jews are very competitive. So, you know, throw us into an athletic environment or a physicist environment. And I think that, that we're very eager competitors. And I think there's, inter there's interest, there's passion for it because it's another thing in which to compete. Since then, Warren has become the number one benefactor of the Cal Aquatics program. He stays in shape by participating in a wide variety of endurance events on the national level. I ran a race called the Western States 100, which is a 100-mile foot race from Squaw Valley to Auburn. And I thought I was the world's greatest stud. And the next day, my wife and I were went down to, the, to Chrissy Field to sort of work the lactic acid out. And these two little, little women jogged up. And one of them said, oh, I was wearing my finisher's T-shirt. And this woman said, uh, oh, you did the race yesterday. And I said, yes. She said, well, I crewed at such and such a rest stop. And I said, fine. And she said, I think I'll do it next year. I said, look, you have to understand something. To do this race, you've got to be in shape like you wouldn't believe, like you've never been in your life. She said, well, my friend and I ran across the country last summer. I think this race won't be all that difficult for us. <laughs> He is a five-string banjo player and has an old-time band called the Wronglers, with whom he plays all over the country. He is the founder and principal sponsor of the internationally famous Hardly Strictly Bluegrass Festival in Golden Gate Park, San Francisco, every year. I keep thinking our band has gotten some notoriety in fact, we're playing Prairie Home Companion this Saturday. And I keep saying that I, I belong to a, to a band of Native Americans, and the chief is named Huda Thunkett. And this award is very much the same thing, Huda Thunkett.